on Optrail Jeff here and over the course of the next two videos I'll be touching on the two different packer options that we offer here at Optrail, both the E3000X and the Swiss Air. So both packers that we offer are truly unique in their own way, but like all the products that we come out with here at Optrail, both were designed to keep your safety and your comfort in mind. Over the course of the next two videos I'll be touching on the highlights for each of the packers and Hopefully that will make your decision a little bit easier if you're trying to decide between the two models. So the first packer that I'd like to touch on is our E3000X. This is actually the most powerful blower that you could find on the market today. So this unit here will filter out upwards of 240 liters of air per minute. And it's equipped with a TH3 HEPA filter, which provides the highest level of protection that you can find. You're probably used to seeing the TH2 HEPA filter on a lot of similar products out there, but the TH3 HEPA on this unit is literally 10 times more effective. So really, you can rest assured knowing that you have the highest level of protection when you're wearing the E3000X. So to put the E3000X on, you're simply gonna wrap it around your waist. And similar to a belt, you're just gonna find the notch that works for you and is nice and snug. Click it in, and you're good to go. So the unit's gonna sit right above your lower waistline here. It's nice and lightweight, it only weighs about three and a half pounds. But if you are looking for additional support, we do offer a shoulder harness. Similar to a pair of suspenders, and what that's going to do is attach to the unit and disperse the weight evenly across your back. Now, operating the E3000X is extremely simple. It's a two-button operation. So on the bottom here, you find the power button, and above that, this button will control the fan speed. To turn the unit on, click the power button once. And there's three fan speeds, so off the bat, you're going to be on the low setting. If you want to go up to medium, click the fan button, you'll hear it kick up a notch. If you want to go into the high fan speed setting, click the fan button one more time. If you want to go back into low, click it yet again. You can keep rotating through the fan speeds just by clicking this one button here. To turn the unit off, Hold down the power button. So once the unit's turned on, you can easily check the life of your battery just by clicking the power button once. What that's going to do is light up this display for you here. It's going to light up anywhere from a full charge to almost out of battery. Right now it's a bright green, but it'll start to fade off to an orangey color once you're starting to run low. So the lithium ion battery is incredibly durable on this unit and it's going to last up to 18 hours between charges depending on the fan speed that you're using. So there's also an alarm that will go off anytime your battery is running low or if your filter needs to be changed. The nice thing about the unit is that if it does start to run low on battery and that alarm goes off, it's automatically going to kick it into the low fan speed setting. So you won't have to stop mid-shift to charge the battery, it's going to get you through your shift. So the lithium ion battery located at the base of the E3000X, this can be left on or off anytime you want to charge the battery up. To take the battery off, simply lift this little lever up here on the side. And that allows you to slide the battery off and charge it up. Then you want to put the battery back on, locate this little rail system here, slide the battery down the base of the unit, wait to hear a clicking sound. That's going to let you know the battery's back in place and secured. Now when you want to access the filter on the unit, you're going to have this little lever here on the side that you lift up, pop that off, it's going to allow you to access the master filter, the pre-filter, and lastly the spark protector. So these pre-filters, they really do a great job at preserving the life of your master filter, so I definitely encourage you to use those. Pop the master filter back in place, find these little dugouts here. Pop this piece in, press down until you hear a clicking sound. Again, that's going to let you know this filter is back in place and secured. So one of the features on the E3000X that's completely unique to Optrail is that it's going to automatically calibrate your airflow for you. So on every other papper out there, you're going to have to use a tool that looks similar to this and place it on the end of your hose and manually calibrate your airflow. But not with the E3000X, it's going to automatically do that for you. You'll actually hear it calibrate automatically whenever you turn the unit on or you're flipping through the fan speeds. So one question we do get all the time about the E3000X is does Optrail offer a gas filter for this model? And the answer is yes, we do. 
We also offer what's called a mountain breeze filter, which will remove nasty odors that can make you nauseous or give you a headache. So you have several different options there. One last thing I'd like to note about the E3000X is that it's compatible with all of our Papper style welding helmets, our Papper style grinding shields, and also our new soft hood series. So you have plenty of options with what you could use with the E3000X. Lastly, the hose connection is extremely simple. So the Papper unit itself will come with this hose right here. Each end of the hose will have two little buttons that you can press in. To connect the hose, simply press those buttons in, drop right on top of the Papper. Same thing with the helmet. Press those buttons in, drop it right on. It's as easy as that. So that about does it for the E3000X. In my next video, I'm going to be touching on the Swiss Air Papper, which is the other unit that we offer. If I didn't answer any of your questions on the E3000X, please feel free to type it into the comments section and we'll get right back to you. Thanks again and we'll see you soon.